Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing great. My name is Ram and I'm a cybersecurity specialist here at Manage Engine. Welcome to yet another episode of the Shield Classroom. In today's episode, we'll be talking about file integrity monitoring. And just off the bat, I would like to stress on this word right here, integrity. What does integrity mean to you? Well, to me, it means incorruptible. It means someone of really high moral character, something that cannot be disturbed. In the case of files, you want integrity too. You don't want to be a, you don't want a file to be sabotaged. You don't want a file to be modified in an unauthorized fashion. That's what you want to achieve with file integrity monitoring. And to get this right, you have to do a few things, right? The first thing that you've got to do is you've got to be able to monitor files created, deleted, or modified. You've got to know in real time in case any of these things happen. Likewise, you've got to know whenever a file is copied and pasted, so copied from one location and pasted in another, that could be a case of an intellectual property theft. So you want to know that in real time too. And for that matter, you also want to know whenever a file is moved or even accessed. If it's accessed by somebody who does not have the permissions to have that access in the first place, you've got to know about that right there and there. And also this, failed attempt to read file or write or uh, delete file. It could very well be the case that there is a user who is trying to read a very, very sensitive file and is actually failing to do so. But that does not take away the fact that they still tried. And even that's got to be monitored. So that is what you have here. Failed attempt to read, write, and delete file. When you do all of these things, when you monitor for these things, well, you can actually achieve a few use cases, some of which I alluded to just now. Um, you can protect against intellectual property theft, for example. Let's say that you work at a university and you're doing some groundbreaking research on something very, very innovative and you're collaborating with some of your peers on this particular project, well, you've got to make sure that that intellectual property stays with you. Nobody really gets a hold of that. There have been so many cases of competitors actually getting their hands on intellectual property and uh, using it to their advantage. So you've got to make sure that you protect against that. There have also been cases where an employee steals the intellectual property of the company because they feel entitled to do so. It might be a project that they have worked on during their time at the company. And let's say that they decide to leave the company and take that intellectual property along with them. And for that, they actually copy the file and paste it or take it away in a USB file. Well, these things, you've got to know about that right then and there. So that's what I mean by, you know, uh, actually, you know, you've got to make sure that you protect against um, intellectual property theft. Likewise, insider threats too. Gone are the days that you can only be concerned about what's happening from the external world. In fact, a statistic says that 50% of all cyber attacks, well, guess what? There's an insider involved. And it's usually easier for an insider to wage an attack than even an external party. That's because they're already within the organization, within the network of the organization. So you've got to protect against insider threats. And in case it's a malicious insider, an uh, insider who has gone rogue, trying to actually do something malicious with any of the files, well, you've got to know about that right then and there. And that's what insider threats are all about. You've also got the case of IT sabotage, which is what tampering of log or OS files is all about. So you could have a situation where an attacker gets into the network and actually tampers with all of these kinds of sensitive files that have to do with the OS or it could even be a case of an attacker trying to erase their tracks by tampering with the log, uh, with the event log files. And these things are also something very, very sensitive. You've got to track that and you've got to make sure it doesn't happen. Apart from the tampering of files and the associated IT sabotage that I was telling you guys about, uh, you've, you've also got to monitor all of this because of this particular reason right here, the compliance bit. It's very, very important and this is one of the biggest use cases when it comes to any SIM solution, any SIM deployment. Because several mandates such as the HIPAA or PCI, DSS, uh, your SOX compliance, all of these mandate that you actually track what is happening uh, when it comes to your event log files and your files in general so that uh, 
A, they are not tampered with, and B, they do not actually fall into the wrong hands. This point here about ransomware, well, I've got a question for you. What does ransomware do as it propagates through the network? Well, it actually deletes a lot of files, it modifies files, it renames files, and it does all of this in very, very quick time. So you've got to make sure that as soon as something like this is noticed, you get to know about it. So ransomware behavior is also something that needs to be tracked and an effective file integrity monitoring tool or a SIM solution that's got this particular capability will help you to achieve just that. Now, file integrity monitoring in terms of how you can actually use it, uh, like I just said right now, it can be a, a very integral feature of a SIM solution. Now, how do you deploy a SIM solution? It can be deployed on premises, but more and more we are seeing uh, instances of a SIM actually being deployed in the cloud. Uh, so these, these are what we call cloud SIMs. And that is exactly what Log360 Cloud is. It's a cloud SIM. And the file integrity monitoring feature is also a part of Log360. So you can do all of this by deploying Log360 Cloud, which is a cloud SIM solution. The benefit is that, of course, it's available on the cloud. It gives you the much needed flexibility, scalability, and also it's very, very quick to deploy. And you get all of these as these things that I just spoke about some time back, well, you get all of these in very easy to use um, audit ready reports. And you can achieve, or you can rather make sure that these things are protected against. So that is what Log360 Cloud is all about. In fact, that is what a good cloud SIM solution can achieve for you, file integrity monitoring. Great, so that's what I wanted to cover in this episode on file integrity monitoring. Until next time, please take care.